Hello, calculus fans. OK, so let's try a problem where we're going to find an equation of a tangent line. So I'll give you the curve. It's defined by y equals x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus x to the 3 halves at the point where x is equal to 4. So let's find the point of tangency. So that is, what point on the curve? So we'll basically plug in x equals 4. And we'll get this expression, 4 to the 4th power minus 3 times 4 squared plus 4 to the 3 halves. And that all works out to 216 if you work that out. Might be worth knowing how to do this sort of thing by hand. Might want to review that if you're not sure how to do uh, those kind of fractional powers. OK, so we've got a 216 for the y value. So we've got our point now. The point is 4, 216. Remember, the 4 just came from the given value that x was equal to 4. And then now think back about what are the pieces of information that we need for a tangent line. We need a point. Now we've got that. And we need the slope. So we'll figure that out now. So to calculate the slope, we'll need a derivative. So we're going to take this expression here and differentiate it. We end up with 4x cubed. That's using the power rule. Then we have 6x. That's also using the power rule, but also using the fact that the 3 just stays with us. We we'll bring the 2 out front. And then finally, the same deal with the x to the 3 halves. That turns into 3 halves x to the 1 half when we differentiate it. The 3 halves comes out in front, and then we have to subtract 1 from the power. Now that we have an expression for the derivative, let's plug in x equals 4, and that's going to give us the slope. So if we plug in the 4, we'll get y prime of 4 is equal to 4 times 4 cubed minus 6 times 4 plus 3 halves times 4 to the 1 half. And then we're going to work out what all this is. So if we simplify a little, we'll get this. And finally, we end up with 235 if you work out all of that. So now let's think about what we've got. We've got the point. We've got a slope. We can put those two together in the point-slope form of a line. And so if we plug all that into the point-slope form of the line, this is what we get. y minus 216, so the 216 is here, equals 235, then we got that here, times x minus 4, and then the 4 comes here. Okay, that's all for now.